not that light. It's like 16 kilos each box. <laughs> hey, and welcome back to another mattress review. I'm Ali from mattressreviews.com.au. In our last review, we did a deep dive into the Ecosa mattress. Today, I'm gonna to be doing a review of the new Koala mattress. I'm gonna be discussing what makes up the new Koala, how it feels to sleep on, who it's good for, and a whole bunch of other things to help you decide if it's the right one for you. So the new Koala is Koala's base model in a range of three, which also includes the Karmaz mattress and the Soulmate mattress, but more on those later. A queen size new Koala retails for 1,050, which is pretty standard and on par in price with similar products in the market. So this is how it looks when it arrives. You have two separate boxes, which you then assemble. All right, let's see what it looks like to unbox and put together. Let's see how we go. Oh! Ah! It comes with a little koala. That is so cute. For the keen-eyed viewers, had to do a quick outfit change because I popped the, the button of my jeans unpacking, so. Figure out how to zip it up, I guess. Gotta <laughs> figure it out. <laughs> so I think what we do is it's on this side and we've got to go all the way around. Did I get it? <gasps> I got it! Yes, okay, alright. So you kind of fiddle and clip and a bit of magic and. Yay! Did it! <laughs> So the queen mattress is just over 35 kilos, so it should ideally be unboxed with two people. But because it comes in two boxes, it does make it a little bit easier. You saw me kind of struggle, but we got there in the end. So once you roll it out, Koala recommends waiting at least an hour to give the foam time to decompress. Some reviews suggest waiting overnight for it to decompress, but it's entirely up to you. On nights one to three, Koala suggests trialing the medium firm side to see how it interacts with your body. It takes around 72 hours for the mattress to fully settle, and the foam will firm up over this period. But if the mattress still isn't quite firm enough, you can swap it to the firm side for the next three nights. Either way, it's important to trial each side for more than a night to let your body and the mattress fully adjust. Okay, so let's talk about the construction of the new Koala mattress. The new Koala mattress comes in two main parts, a comfort layer and a base layer. So the comfort layer on top, base layer on the bottom. The separate comfort layer is seven centimeters deep and uses a cover made from polyester and 10 cell lyocell fabric. This cover has been designed for moisture absorption and breathability. The outer cover encases a double-sided cloud cell comfort layer made from polyurethane foam. This layer is what gives you the option to choose between a medium firm feel or a firm feel. Finally, the new Koala mattress uses a three-zone high-density support layer on the bottom. This section contains antimicrobial additives to help prevent the growth of bacteria and mold, which we always want. So what does it feel like? Overall, the new Koala mattress feels quite dense no matter which version you choose. The medium firm mattress is comfortable and evenly absorbs body weight. It has the distinct spongy feel that all foam mattresses have, but it's still quite reactive to body movements. The difference between firm and medium firm isn't huge. The firm mattress layout is dense and spongy, yet still reactive to movements, but not as reactive or responsive as inner spring mattresses. So I've got the bowling ball of truth here, which I'm gonna let settle on each of the mattress configurations. This is how each configuration bounces back after you place an eight kilo bowling ball on top. We use the bowling ball to get a sense check on how well the mattress responds in terms of molding to the body and bouncing back across different firmness levels. This bowling ball of truth will be our benchmark across all our mattress in a box reviews. So I've set up the new Koala in a medium firm arrangement, which I'd say is about a six to seven out of 10 on the firmness scale. A mattress that's one out of 10 would be the softest mattress in the world, and one that scored a 10 out of 10 would be the firmest. For reference, a score of six and a half out of 10 is widely regarded as industry standard for a medium firm mattress. Okay, so let's talk sleeper style. Side sleepers will most likely enjoy the new Koala in a medium firm arrangement. This is because it's a little bit softer and will be more comfortable and cradle your shoulders and hips better while also still keeping your spine in a good neutral alignment. Back and stomach sleepers will probably do best in the firm arrangement. This is because the firm mattresses provide a more stable and even surface, preventing your body from sagging unevenly into the mattress and certain body parts bearing the brunt of the pressure. Combo sleepers will also most likely enjoy the firm arrangement better, allowing you to comfortably switch positions while you sleep and not getting stuck in the mattress. 
All right, so what's sinkage like? Well, the new koala will support up to 300 kilos per person or 600 kilos for two people, which is much better than other mattresses at the same price point. Sinkage is average in the new koala, and there is a bit of a difference depending on the arrangement you choose, but it's not a huge difference. All right, let's move on to motion transfer. Overall, the new koala does pretty well in limiting motion transfer. If you have the mattress in its firmer setting, you'll experience about next to no motion transfer, which is great. Even in a medium firm setting, you might feel some transfer of a partner getting in and out of bed, but not much. Edge support of the new koala mattress sits within the normal limits of a foam mattress. Basically, if you sit on the edge of a memory foam mattress, it will sink. Foam mattresses compress with weight, and the new koala mattress doesn't use inner springs to rebound you. Okay, let's talk about who will love this mattress. You'll love the new Koala if you like value for money, prefer a firmer style memory foam mattress that's still adjustable, and want a mattress that's highly reviewed. Now, who might not love the new Koala? If you want a more springy or responsive bed, if you prefer a traditional memory foam mattress, or if you want something that is 100% Aussie made, then the new Koala might not be for you. While it is an Aussie brand and an Aussie design, manufacturing has now been offshored, so it's not completely built in Australia. So one of the biggest questions we get at mattressreviews.com.au is what's the difference between a Kosa and the new Koala? And honestly, at a glance, they're pretty similar, but where do they differ? On price, a Kosa is marginally more expensive than the new Koala, about $49 more in Queen. However, this is based on recommended retail price and there is almost always a discount or sale going on. On motion transfer, they both offer great motion transfer features, so they're pretty on par there. When it comes to warranty, Akosa beats Koala on warranty with 15 years versus Koala's 10 years. And finally, both offer customizable layers and are flippable. However, Akosa offers three settings while Koala offers two. So where does the real difference lie? I'd say that when comparing the softest mattress settings of the Akosa and the new Koala, the Akosa is softer than the new Koala, which might suit sleepers who do prefer a softer mattress and aren't really used to the firm memory foam mattress. Okay, so is the new Koala durable? How long will it last you? With a new Koala mattress, if you look after it properly, it can last up to 10 years, which is as long as it's warranty. To keep it working for you, always rotate the mattress every so often to prevent sag and wear and tear. Now, as mentioned before, the new Koala has three mattresses in its range. So what's the difference between the three? Well, they're all flippable memory frame mattresses at the end of the day. While the three models are very similar, it's really about how they're designed to meet differing budgets. So while the design as such aren't all that different when you go up in models, the materials used do go up in quality and are more comfortable. So really it's about budget and what you're willing to spend. So what are customers saying? What are some of the highlights as well as some of the less than shiny reviews of the new Koala? Customer reviews of the new Koala are overwhelmingly positive. The bed is great if you love something on the firmer side and many reviews suggest it helps with back pain. Customer service also got a big tick from many reviewers. One of the most common negative reviews, however, is that the new Koala does trap a lot of heat. This is especially true when compared to the Akosa, which is a similar offering. Um, many reviewers of the Akosa say they slept nice and coolly with the Akosa. Finally, here's everything else you need to know about the new Koala. It's a foam mattress. It's shipped from Australia with same day delivery in metro areas being the fastest shipping option. And you get a 120 night trial with free delivery and returns if it's not quite right for you. All right, that's my review of the new Koala mattress. If you have any more questions, feel free to get in touch or leave a comment on this video. Catch you next time.